never left goes, there is also me. Hey guys, so this is gonna be a kind of unofficial review of the Selfie Factory. Mainly just telling you my experiences there, what I've loved about it, what I haven't loved about it. But I essentially just wanted to kind of show off some shots that we got there that I thought were pretty cool. All the pain. something in there. So if you've not heard about it, the Selfie Factory started uh, sometime earlier this year, I believe. And what it is is basically just a kind of very, very affordable little kind of studio uh, in the sense that you can go to. You don't have to be a professional photographer. It's actually geared more towards, I guess, non-professionals. You can just have like a kind of fun day out there, really. basically all the kind of stuff that you see on an influencer's Instagram and they've kind of collected that and put that in one place so you can kind of have that experience and get some of those shots that you see on people's Instagrams and you're like oh my god how do I even get a shot like that you know yeah very cool yeah I'm thinking this actually so I initially went there in May with Poppy Thorne, who I've done some awesome shoots with. She first suggested the idea of going there. I'd seen it on a few people's Instagrams, but I didn't really think it was like, you know, like a big deal or anything. But Poppy suggested going there and doing a shoot. So I was like, yeah, cool, it sounds fun. And at the time it was in Blue Water, which is like 20 minutes from my house. I was like, yeah, why not? It sounds great. initial thought when I went in was just like whoa this is like crazy because there were so many like kids there like young young kids and so with that my first impressions of it were that this maybe wasn't really for me it like don't get me wrong we got some really really cool shots I think it's actually kind of cooler just going with your phone and just getting a few you know just kind of quirky oh look what we did kind of shots more than a like professional photo shoot the lighting isn't professional it's just regular kind of store lighting they're just regular lights that you'll see in any kind of shopping mall it isn't like a studio where you have like flashes that are all daylight balance all that kind of stuff i definitely blagged some shots when i first went there but when i went back i made sure to bring a flash um just to give me a bit of extra uh support on some of the uh, on some of the sets yeah and then hold it up and go I was working with Amy again for this shoot. Um, we've seen her in like a few of my other videos now. She's really cool and she always puts together like really interesting outfits. So I knew that we could just crack on and create some magic. These ones are probably some of my favorite. Um, it's kind of like a floral garden kind of thing. Bougie as fuck, just super like floral queen, yas kind of vibes. From there we went into the bathtub, so Amy put on this ridiculous zebra onesie, which obviously goes with like the black and white tiled walls, so that was a good look. And the thing with this is that I think this is everyone's favourite that goes there. On the Instagram tags for Selfie Factory, I see this more than anything. And a few people have been switching up and doing some cool stuff, so I was like, okay, well we need to be totally different and do something that I've not seen before. And I thought just like playing on your phone as if like you would if you were having the bath anyway. Um, would just be kind of cool. Just pure nonchalant, playing on your phone in the bath, that kind of look. And she's got the unicorn slippers on as well. So all in all, it's just awesome. Not getting winning any medals with that. Um, let's go. I 
actually think they've done a wicked idea and changed the colour of the balls because the one that they had before was pink. Um, but these ones are just like a uh, like a clear kind of metallic-y, silvery kind of vibe, which is a lot easier because then you can literally do any outfit with it and it's gonna just pop so much more. Wonderful, wonderful shout, changing the colors of the balls. And that was the Selfie Factory in Blue to Kent. So that was actually my second time there. Um, as I said, I went there back in May, got some shots that I was reasonably happy with and Selfie Factory actually got in touch and asked to use them for their promotion, which obviously I was like, yeah, go for it. And from that, we managed to blag another day there. So this time we went on a Monday, it was dead quiet. Uh, pretty much what they said to me is if you go during the week, like you've pretty much got like the run of ropes yourself So it's pretty sick in that sense But if it's absolutely imperative that you go on a weekend Just beware it's gonna be a lot busier and it is it often sells out and it's like so ramo full of kids So just be aware of that if you want to kind of have free reign like I did definitely book during the week I'm looking at their page now and they're gonna be there until the 22nd of December So you've got plenty of time to get in. I'll leave the link to the description below so you can see all the images I've taken, uh, both trips to the Selfie Factory and the link to the Selfie Factory's page. You can book in and book your own session if you want. Thanks for watching the video. I've been Arthur and I'll see you in the next one. Too sweet.